Welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how using the Visual Basic for the Applications Editor and using the Visual Basic Programming uh, Language, we can actually implement sheet protection over the sheets in Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, the first question arises is what is sheet protection and why do we need it? So sheet protection is actually, uh, as the name suggests, is the way through which you can protect your sheets from unauthorized access. Then why do we need it? We need it because data is a very sensitive thing and we need to protect our data from unauthorized usage or unauthorized access. That is why we need to put in check that only authorized users are able to access our data. That is why we need to provide sheet protection. Since in Excel sheets, we put a lot of sensitive data, so it is equally important to implement the good strategies for protecting that particular data. So that is why we have got an option of sheet protection in Microsoft Excel. Now we have covered a detailed video in Excel that how can we implement sheet protection in Microsoft Excel. So I'm not going to revisit it. Instead, I'm going to show you in this video that how can we implement sheet protection using the Visual Basic code. Okay. So let us start with a procedure. We have uh, our workbook named as book one and we have a bunch of sheets. Okay. Now in the sheet named as rename sheet, we have got some data. So we are just going to protect this sheet only. Okay. So uh, you need to open up your VBA editor, the shortcut alt F11. You can just press it anytime and VBA would be open in front of you. Now, once you've opened your VBA, you need to go to the insert tab and insert a new module. Now you can rename this module to anything you want. I'm just going to rename it as protect sheets, but make sure you give it a meaningful name and then open this protect sheets in the code pane and create a sub procedure for it and give it a name. Now the name of the sub procedure is going to be the same name of your macro. So again, make sure that you give something meaningful. Then um, you need to open and close the parenthesis and VB would recognize that yes, it is a sub procedure and would add end sub to make sure that yes, whatever code you write is between these two lines. Now we need to write the code to protect our sheets. So first of all, let us just break down that code. Uh, now the thing is we need to protect a sheet. So to access a sheet, we first uh, need to use the worksheets function. Okay. Because for the sheet protection, we need to first access that sheet. So to access that sheet, use the worksheets function. Within the parenthesis, you can either provide the index of the sheet or the name of the sheet. So I'm just providing its name. That is nothing but rename sheet. So that is the sheet name that I provided. Then uh, I need to put a dot. When I put a dot, I need to provide it with a property and this property will determine that what function would be performed on this particular sheet. So rename sheet is the name of the sheet and what function I'm going to perform on this sheet is what I'm going to select uh, using the property. So the property that I'm going to use is protect. So when I use this protect property, uh, VB will recognize that yes, I want to protect my sheet. Now, a uh, general convention is you need to protect your sheet using a password. I have protected my sheet. The next thing that I need to do is provide it with a password. So for the password, you just need to put a space, then write the keyboard as password. And we know that in Visual Basic, whenever we write a keyword, we need to put a colon and then we need to use an equal sign that is the same convention we used when we use the after and the before keywords so this is the same thing we are going to do here as well that is use the uh, colon and the equal sign and then you need to provide a password for your sheet here i'm going to provide a simple password uh, because i'm just using it for the demo purposes but if you want to protect your sheet it is recommended that you provide a strong password so i'm providing one two three four a simple password now, right now, if you can see that I'm in rename sheet and I can easily uh, get to this sheet 
because there is no protection in it but once i run this code it's run now uh, you can see if i just right click over here then you can see that we have this option of unprotect sheet over here okay while in custom name we have this option of protect sheet this option of unprotect sheet means that i cannot um, actually perform any action on this sheet while it is protected without a password suppose i want to enter any data in the cell of this rename sheet then i get this error from microsoft excel the cell or chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet to make a change unprotect the sheet you might be requested to enter a password okay so if i want to make any changes to this particular sheet then i need to unprotect it first and then only i can uh, make changes to this particular sheet okay so to unprotect it if i just right click and go to unprotect sheet then it requires me to enter the password and this is the same password that we provided while protecting the sheet so until and unless you have the password to unprotect the sheet you cannot actually unprotect the sheet and you cannot perform any changes to it okay so yeah uh, i know that the password was incorrect so uh now if i want to unprotect the sheet i can do the same thing using the visual basic code as well okay so we need uh, we know now how to protect the sheet now how to unprotect the sheet to unprotect it use this worksheets function uh you can just open and close the parenthesis provide it with a name and the name is nothing but rename sheets that we're going to unprotect provide it with a name and now instead of the protect property what property we need to provide it with is known as the unprotect property so you need to write the keyword unprotect instead of protect and now we know from microsoft excel that once we want to unprotect our sheet we need to provide the password to unprotect it so once you write this unprotect keyword you need to provide password with which you need to unprotect it using the keyword password put a colon put an equal sign because that's the convention and provide the password that is one two three and four now your sheet would be unprotected only if your password is correct but if your password is wrong your sheet won't be unprotected so let us just comment this out and when we run this then you can see rename sheet is unprotected if you just write anything over here over any of the cells then it is possible to write okay so now one thing more uh, let us come to vb again and let us just uncomment it and comment this now we are again protecting our sheet with the password one two three four and protect sheets is what i want to run now uh, rename sheet is again protected you can see this all menu bar has been disabled now what if i want to unprotect it again but i provided with a wrong password then what happens one two three four was my password but um, i provided with simple one two three which is a wrong password now if i just run it then i will get this error the password you supplied is not correct verify that the caps lock key is off and be sure to use the correct capitalization you can just debug it you can end it and now you know that if you provide the wrong password then also you are not able to unprotect your sheet using vb as well so in order to unprotect your sheet you must provide a correct password which um, is 1234 in this case so if instead of 123 you provide it with 1234 and then let us just stop its execution right now and if we try to again execute it then what happens is simply press f8 from your keyboard again f8 from your keyboard and again f8 from your keyboard you get no error but instead in the rename sheets you can see that all this tab is now um, visible is now enabled which means yes you can perform any kind of editing that you want which means yes your sheet is now unprotected and again you can press f8 to bring yourself out of the macro protect sheets and that's how you can protect your sheet but there is another way which we already know that um, using the worksheets function either we can use this rename sheet function or the index of the sheet to refer to that particular sheet so if instead of the name of the sheet you want to provide the index of the sheet then also you are able to protect or unprotect your sheet so that is all about how uh, you can actually 
refer to your sheets you can protect your sheets in microsoft excel and uh, that's all for the video thanks for watching